Hi everyone, this is Beth Buddha Time. I thought I would take a little bit of time today to make this video for you to share with you about the art rituals, what they are, what the experience is like, and I'm also later going to show you some supplies that I recommend, art supplies, and at the end of the video you can see some of the artwork that some of my clients have created. The art rituals were initially created for a chakra program that I offer. I was just really inspired to bring art into the process, into the program. And what I learned was how powerfully profound it actually was, these art rituals. The art rituals help integrate the healing, the insights, and the transformation that people access and experience during that program. Um, the feedback was amazing and so I was really inspired to give more of my attention to that and to create more art rituals and share them with a larger audience. So each art ritual gives you the opportunity to connect with um, within yourself with a certain issue or theme that we're talking about in the art ritual and we go really deep with that. It's a very personal process that you enter to access your own energy, your own presence with that, your own place of where you are at with that issue or situation or dream or vision um, and connect in with that energy and connect in with the healing and insight and new information and deeper awareness and we I guide you into bringing symbol and imagery to that and then you take that symbol and imagery into an art piece to help bring you into more of where you want to be to feel better to um, feel clear about next steps and where you may want to put your energy, your focus, what's right for you in the moment, what's right for you as you move forward. And as we do that, as we connect in with that, we access imagery, colors, symbols to represent that, that space for you, to represent that healing that you've accessed and all that insight and wisdom and yumminess. And then we bring that into an art ritual that I've designed very intentionally. Each one's different and it's de designed very intentionally to assist you to integrate that in a more profound way. So it's not just creating art, but there's another aspect of then what you do next, how you integrate it. This is something I believe cultures have done for thousands of years that we need to remember. It's, it's like ceremonial art. It's sacred. It's empowered. It's, it's a way of coming into relationship with the physical world. By, to me, it's like accessing something um, beautiful from beyond the physical world, creating it into form, bringing it into form, and it becomes a bridge. It's like a bridge back to that place. Um, and it's holding that, that for you. When you put your energy into creating something, that piece is holding a, an, a power for you. It's empowered. It's um, sanctified. I remember once someone gave me uh, something. Um, that was that they had created that they had tied together some things and I was hanging on my wall and after a year or two I thought you know I think I'm gonna retie that redo that it needs some cleaning or something and so I thought well, it's okay because I'll be able to put it back together the way that it's done and so I took that piece and I kind of undid it and then redid it and hung it back up and it really hit me how different the energy was because I had taken that person's energy out of it 
um, because I took it apart and I redid it myself. So now it had my energy and it just really struck me when someone creates something, their energy is in that. Um, this also reminds me of a healing center, something that the Dalai Lama had done, like tied in a knot in a string or something. And it was the Dalai Lama's, you know, energy. Um, and so, you, you know, you weren't to undo that, that knot because the Dalai Lama, it had the Dalai Lama's energy in it. Um, so when you are creating these art rituals, whenever you create anything, but the art rituals become really powerful because you are bringing through your, your own transformation, your own healing, your own insights um, into a piece. Each art ritual includes time to um, begin your piece. I feel like that's really important because often beginning is the hardest part. So when we take that little that break, that time for you to actually begin, it really helps get you over the humps, but then you can continue on on your own after the session's over. Most of the art rituals involve just really simple, basic, easy to acquire inexpensive art materials. You are more than welcome to use whatever materials that you want to. Um, but in a lot of the art rituals, we end up cutting the piece out. And so it's nice to do it on heavy paper. If you decide you want to do it on canvas or board or something where you can't cut the piece out, it's fine. Just there are ways you can uh, work with that. You could um, Make a color copy, you know, go photocopy a color copy of your piece and then cut it out. Um, or you could, you could scan it, print it off on your printer, uh, no problem. One of the papers that would be good to use is this watercolor paper. And you can see this is really kind of a nice heavy, heavy paper. So that when we cut things out, it's not just going to be floppy. Another type of paper that's good to use is um, Bristol. Okay, Bristol. And just like the watercolor paper, it's thick too. It has a little smoother surface. You're going to want some markers. I like the pack of 50. Pack of 50. These are just Crayola markers. And I highly recommend gel pens, the gold and silver gel pen. I love these because they add light. And when we connect with energy and your inner essence, there's light there. There's a lot of light. And so this is a way to bring that energy down into your art piece. So silver and gold for sure. Optional, but highly recommended. I also recommend a compass. So if you want to do a circular piece, you can draw a circle. And some sort of um, templates are really cool because then you can draw circles in your piece of very different sizes. They also make these templates that have different shapes. So there'll be circles and stars and triangles. Those are cool too and you want an eraser and just a writing pen as well um, in a lot of these pieces we write on them and I feel that's a very important part of, of these art rituals um, that I've been doing so far bringing words into the piece bringing your affirmations it helps to make the piece even more powerful and these are very deep meaningful affirmations as you connect in specifically to you. So I think that's all I have to share with you today about the art rituals. I'm probably leaving something out, but feel free to contact me if you have any questions about anything. You can reach me through my website at paintedjourneys.com and I really hope to see you, see you soon and meet you if we haven't met. Um, I would love for you to experience the art ritual, whether you come to a live session or access one of the recordings. Um, I really think you'll get a lot out of it. 
it's really supportive, it's time for yourself, it's nurturing. Um, the insight and guidance and support that you receive can be invaluable. So, and some of them include a personal reading from me. So it's a big bonus and it's a really good deal. So I would love to hear from you and do that reading for you. So check them out. Um, the link is, I will post the link here with this video and you can access that on my website as well, paintedjourneys.com. So thank you all. You have a really beautiful day and see you soon. Bye-bye.